Hi, in this video we're going to use the Poisson community distribution function tables uh, to find probabilities. So it says I've got a random variable x Poisson distributed with uh, lambda 4. Using tables of the Poisson uh, community distribution table, we'll find the probability that x is less than 3, the probability that x is equal to 4, and the probability that x is greater or equal to 2, or the probability that x is bigger than uh, 2 but less than or equal to 5. Uh, we're going to get our Poisson community distribution tables from G algebra. So the first case, we've got x is Poisson 4, and we've got x is less than 3. So we need to consider the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So if we use the uh, PDF uh, graph, we can have a look and see what that looks like. So if we now... Uh, Go to GeoGebra. GeoGebra opens up like this, and then if you go to View, which is there, and you can select Probability uh, Calculator, which is that one there, you will get uh, a table like this. Okay, so we were doing. Uh, so look, we were doing the probability that x is less than three. So if we go to probability x is three. Uh, when this opens up, it looks it. It looks more like this. So you have to raise this up. Okay, check that this says Poisson, because you can. Uh, and then we've got a mean of four. It opens in a mean of four by default. So we were doing um, less than uh, two is what we wanted. Okay, because we were doing uh, less than three. So. Okay, and that will look like that. And if if you were using the PDF, then what you'd have to do is you'd have to sum the, you'd have to sum these probabilities up. However, if you press this button here on the the one on the very corner here. You get the community distribution function, and we just we can just take the answer straight away from that. So these are the tables that we actually want, and then we look for two because we want less than or equal to two. This is how the tables work. So we'll the probability that x is less than three is equal to the probability less of x less than or equal to two which is going to be equal to 0 0.2381 from the uh, tables, and then we round that off to 0 0.2382 to three significant figures. Right, the next one, the probability that x is equal to 4. Probability that x is equal to 4, we need to do probability that x is less than or equal to 4, minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. So using the PDF, so going to this again, going to the PDF, so go back to the PDF, just click that again, and it's um, what you have to do for equal to 4, you have to put 4 between 4 and 4. And that will give us the answer straight away. So it's actually easy to do that one for the PDF. However, we want... Um, we want uh, use, to use the CDF. So go to the CDF and we'll have to use these tables to do that. Okay, so there's the PDF, that gives us the answer. And then using the CDF, we'll need to do the probability that x is less than 4, which is that one there, minus the probability x is less than or equal to 3, which is that one there, and if we subtract, we get that one. Uh, we don't get agreement here in the last decimal place due to rounding errors. That gives me the answer of 0 0.1952, three significant figures. Okay, the next one, x is probably Poisson 4 again. We want x is greater or equal to 2. Well, the problem with the Poisson distribution, it goes on forever more. So we have to do 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 1. So showing, showing you what that looks like using the PDF. So going to GeoGebra again. To go back to the PDF, we get that, and then in here we want more than two. Okay, so what we want to do is we need to sum all these probabilities up, but th this goes on forever more. These are very too small here to register to four decimal places. 
so we need to sum all those probabilities up. However, if we go to the uh, PDF, CDF, sorry, if we go to the CDF and we do uh, less than 1, which is that 1, we'll need to get that from the table. So using the CDF, using probability that x is greater or equal to 2 is 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 1, we'll do 1 minus 0 0.0916, that gives me 0 0.9084 which is 0 0.90823 centimeter figures. Now in the final one, the probability that x is between 2 but, but less than or equal to 5, we will need to think of the probability of x being between uh, 3 and 5 because it, uh, we want one, one more than 2 here. So using the PDF, Here and then we select the middle one there and then put in three and sorry five. So we'll need to sum those probabilities up if we use a PDF. However, we can use the uh, CDF tables, which are these, and you can get those from clicking that one there. Okay, so we want the probability of x being bigger than 2 but less than or equal to 5, which means the probability that x is greater or equal to 3 but less than or equal to 5, which is less than or equal to 5 minus the probability less than or equal to 2. So what we're doing is from 5 and taking away 2 to get the, the, the remaining bit. So that's going to be 0. 7851 minus 0.2381, which gives me 0 0.5470, which is 0 0.5470 to three cylinder figures. So, this has been a video to show you how to use the community distribution function tables for the Poisson distribution and to calculate Poisson probabilities. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.